Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out the optional bug fix update for Windows 11 22H2, which is also bringing the Moment 4 feature update to the OS. Now the bug fix update is KB5030310. And something to take note of is that if you don't have this toggled on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, all you're going to get are the bug fixes that rolled out with the optional bug fix update, 5030310. And I did post on this when it was in preview. And I'll leave that video down below if you'd like some more info, because today we're going to focus on the Moment 4 feature update. Now, if we head back to the Windows Update page, if you do have this toggle turned on, it will download and install the Windows Configuration Update, KB5030509, which brings the fourth wave of new features to Windows 11 22H2, which introduces approximately 150 new features. Now today, I'm just going to focus on some of the key highlights. Obviously, I cannot get into all 150 features, else we would be here for the next month. And this is by no means a comprehensive list. And um, just to um, go through some of the uh, features that I think most of you would be interested in. So the Windows configuration update will be downloaded and installed if you have this toggle turned on. And as mentioned, the bug fix update, when it was still in preview, I did post on that. And that will be down below if you'd like some more info regarding what has been fixed with this optional bug fix update. Now, the, the, the update started rolling out on the 26th, which was late yesterday in my region. And um, once the update has been installed, because it is optional, um, the OS build has been bumped up to 22621.2361. Now, we are going to jump around quite a lot today. We're going to chop and change. And I'm not going to get into every new feature. I'm not going to get into every feature and go in depth. We might do a couple of the key highlights um, in a couple of days and just focus a little bit more in depth on some of the key highlights. But just to briefly touch on all the new features, um, just to show you what has more or less rolled out and is of relevance when it comes to new features with Moment 4. Now, first of all, um, you may have noticed that the search highlights has been returned and is restored now in the search box. So Microsoft now has replaced the Bing Chat icon with the search highlights. And that's one of those small yet, I think, significant updates, which some users may find of benefit and may be quite happy about, including myself. And then if we head to the start menu, if you do have the recommended section turned on, I don't. But if you do, um, the update introduces websites to the recommended section of the start menu. These websites will be personalized, Microsoft says, for you and come from your browsing history. And then I would consider one of the key highlights for this update to be the Windows Copilot, which is found here now on the taskbar next to the search box. And if we click on that, um, it introduces and adds a preview of centralized AI assistance called Copilot in Windows, says Microsoft. This makes Windows 11 the first PC platform to add centralized AI assistance to help you get things done. This first preview focuses on the integrated UI now. It's still very much in its infancy. It's still in preview. And um, it's a web container very similar to Bing Chat. So very similar to what we get um, online with Bing Chat. And you can do things like ask it to take actions such as change to dark mode, take a screenshot, and so on. But that's the Copilot bringing centralized AI assistance and acting and performing very similar to Bing Chat. So if you have used Bing Chat, this is very similar currently to what the feature is all about. And we might have a more in-depth look at this on another day. And just something to take note of, if you want to remove the feature from your taskbar, you just right-click, head to taskbar settings, and here you'll see Copilot Preview. You can just toggle that on and off if you want to enable that or turn that off when it comes to placing that on your taskbar. So that's Copilot, which is uh, still in preview, but Microsoft has decided to push that out. Now, heading back to the Start menu, once again, the Recommended section um, gives a richer preview when you hover over files in the Recommended section on the Start menu. So basically, you are going to see a thumbnail preview, which I think is a very handy feature if you are using the Recommended section. And something else I'm quite happy to see is that if we head to our, um, our quick settings, it adds an enhanced volume mixer. Now you can see things looking a little bit different. So if we click on that, you can see now that you can actually open up using the Windows Control and V shortcut to open up the quick settings and new 
enhanced volume mixer you can see your output devices your spatial sound and here we get the volume mixer where you can actually adjust the volume of separate apps which i think has been a long time coming so that's an enhanced volume mixer now that's been enabled in the quick settings and here's another key highlight finally they have added never combined mode so basically this means you can view application windows and their labels on the taskbar separately so to get to this we head to the settings uh, the personalization uh, taskbar you can actually do this by right clicking on your taskbar as well and yeah you'll see uh, if we just scroll down here it says combine taskbar buttons and hard labels and we have three options always when taskbar is full and never and there we can see never combined mode finally available and this has been a very long time coming and i think that's going to make a lot of users happy then moving on to another one regarding the taskbar system tray and notifications you can now hide the time and date in the system tray so to do this you just right click adjust date and time and now you'll see show time and date in the system tray and that's just another little small feature which i think is very significant if you just want to declutter things and you can now um, hide the time and date in the system tray and moving on now to the file explorer and um, quite a lot going on here but just to pick out a couple of the key highlights file explorer um, it updates and adds a modernized file explorer home that is powered by when you are and you can see things looking a little bit different and a couple of more rounded corners have rolled out now um you can also see that the so-called toolbar and the address bar have been swapped over so the address bar used to be here and the so-called toolbar used to be where the address bar is now so they've switched those around and the file explorer's newly designed address bar can also recognize local and cloud folders and we've also got a new uh, details pane as we can see which i think is nice and um, very modernized give you a little bit more different info there so there's a new details pane and the big one yeah i think is that they have introduced gallery as well which basically pops uh, your photos into the file explorer it has a timeline so it's basically bringing the photos app directly now into uh, the file explorer and Another big one is the update adds native support for reading additional archive file formats. So you can now read archive file formats like .tar, uh, .tg, .tgz, .txz, uh, 7zip, .rar, just to mention a couple. But one thing to take note of, I don't think you can actually create an archive. You can only read them. So finally, archive file format reading available now with this moment for feature update. Now, moving up onto the next one. And for this, we're going to head back to the Start menu. And the Windows Backup app now is rolling out. And I'm just going to touch on this briefly because we have covered this when it was made available um, previously in Windows 10. So basically, um, you can quickly get uh, your current PC backed up and ready to move to a new PC. So you can back up your folders, your apps, your settings, your credentials, and so on. And I have focused on this quite in depth previously. So just do a search on the channel if you'd like to know how to use the app. But Windows Backup now available with this Windows 11 22 H2 update. And another one I'm quite happy to see um, roll out is that there's updates to Windows Spotlight. And by the way, just on a side note, Windows Spotlight is working again after this moment for update. It was broken for a couple of weeks and now is working again, as you can see. And if you right click now, you can see that the update improves the Windows Spotlight experience. You can preview images in full screen. Uh, you can also use the Learn More button um, to preview those images and get more info. The update also provides a minimized Windows Spotlight experience. And um, there are many ways to learn more about each image. And you can see you can actually chop and change and preview those images. And I actually think this is a nice improvement because I do use Windows Spotlight on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm very happy that they've actually fixed Windows Spotlight with this feature update. Now, heading back to the settings, and as mentioned, we are going to be chopping and changing a little bit today. And if you do use Narrator as an accessibility feature, the update adds new natural voices for Narrator, which include Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, that's for Spain and Mexico, English for United Kingdom and India, French and German. So adds new natural voices for Narrator, which I think is a nice improvement if you are using um, uh, this Narrator as an accessibility feature. And something else to take note of is that they've also added, if we head to the system, they've added a new uh, developer sections for developers. 
So if you are a developer, some interesting things going on uh, um, in this new page for developers. And um, if we head back to our accounts, they've also now added pass keys, which are a simple and more secure replacement for passwords when you sign into a website or application that supports them, says Microsoft from the release notes. And to view and delete your pass keys, you head to the accounts page, you scroll down, and here you'll see pass key settings where you can actually uh, view and delete your pass keys. I'm not going to head onto that page because obviously um, I have pass keys that are uh, that are on that page, but um, pass keys available now and you can obviously manage that now from your accounts page. And moving on to the settings, um, quite a lot going on here with the settings. And first of all, the update adds a new settings homepage, which now adds seven different sections, which are your recommended settings. These are basically just quick shortcuts to key features in settings. Your cloud storage, you can personalize from here. Your Bluetooth devices, you can try Microsoft 365, which is a little bit of advertising. And if you are um, using Xbox and so on, uh, you can view your subscription status and manage the subscription. I'm not, so that's why you're not seeing that actual little menu. So there are seven sections now available on the new settings homepage. And as mentioned, there is a new developer section. So if we head back to that, if we head back to the, the system page and we head down to for developers, uh, there's a new dev drive which is available now. So if we scroll down here, you can create a new dev drive. So Microsoft says dev drive is a new form of storage volume. It gives developers what they need to host source code. And I'm not going to get too much into what this is all about. We might um, look at this in a future video, but um, new dev drive available if you are um, a developer and would like to um, create those different virtual hard disks and so on as an example. And the update adds dynamic lighting. And this is another key feature and we have spoken about this quite a lot when it was in preview so for this we're going to head to the privacy and security page and sorry the personalization page as mentioned quite a lot going on and if we scroll down here we get dynamic lighting and update adds this feature it gives you control of lighting devices that implement the open hrd lamp array standard these devices can create millions of color combinations using red, green, and blue RGB, as it's also known. And um, as mentioned, that can be located on your personalization per, um, dynamic lighting page. So if you have peripherals like keyboards and so on and masks, you can light those up now um, if they support that RGB lighting. Now, heading back to the privacy and security section, there is new presence sensing. If your device supports it, which mine doesn't, but um, on the privacy and security page, you should see a, if your device does support presence sensing, you should see a new a toggle for that feature on this page. And just a brief overview, and just to mention this, the update adds adaptive dimming that um, works for PCs that have presence sensors that support attention detection. And now your device can dim your screen when you look away and undim it when you look back. So if your, di your device does support that, you'll see um, that present sensing adaptive dimming on this privacy and security page. And heading back to, sorry, just to, okay. And then just to finish off, we have the Windows 365 switch. Now I'm just going to mention this quickly because um, there's quite a lot going on.